Hey guys, we're back again. Another episode of Don't Starve, in which I'm currently starving uh, to death. Because I uh, went to sleep. Of course, drastically affects your hunger. So, you know, isn't always advisable to do. I also broke down and finally had to look up how I'm supposed to get through those obelisks because I had I had no idea how. I didn't know what I was supposed to do. And uh, here's what I discovered. You have to go crazy. Apparently going completely insane is a good way uh, Or going completely insane is the way for you to pass through uh, the obelisk. So you have to have a very low sanity rating or a very high sanity rating depending on you know what it is you're doing. So first off we're gonna get near Deer Clops until we go completely insane. Um, because being near him drains your sanity fairly quickly. So we're gonna have to roll up on deer clops again. Not the best laid plan, but pretty much my only plan uh, at the moment. Let me turn these fans off. Sorry. Oh, hot in my room. So that's what we're doing. <clears throat> we're headed towards deer clops. Fortunately, we managed to find this top hat, which is uh, which is nice. Now, deer clop should be somewhere down here. Yeah, I, I hear him busting around. There he is. All right, dear clops. You're not lowering my sanity very much. Wow, that's not helping anything. All right, away. Off we go. This is silly. We're gonna lure him over here. Near these beefalo. Oh shit. These are red ass beefalo. All right, warmed myself up a little bit. I'm gonna head back down there. Deer clops hopefully won't follow. We're lucky we have the puffy vest. Oh shit, no, don't. Stupid red ass beefalo. Go away, man, I don't need you. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna stand in the middle of these uh, horrible flower things. I'm gonna build a campfire over here. And uh, I'm gonna take off my puffy vest. Drop these right here. Let's go ahead and build a, uh, a shovel real quick. We'll dig this up. 
and uh, we'll drop it right here. And then we'll stand in the middle of these flowers until our sanity gets so low that we we are finally able to pass uh, through the wall into the lands beyond. That's my plan. <clears throat> That's the only thing I looked up, though. I just, I had no idea what I was supposed to do with those obelisks. I didn't know what I was supposed to do with the obelisks. So apparently, you know, if you go insane, the uh, obelisks uh, aren't a problem. Now you have to have really low sanity for it to work. That's the that's the issue. Sanity has to be really super low. Fortunately, we have two items. We have our top hat and we have our puffy vest, both of which increase your sanity over time. So if we stand here during the night and we go insane, uh, you know, we get our sanity down to 30, then tomorrow we will, uh, oh, look. There's old Shifty. Tomorrow we should be able to pass through the obelisks without any problem. I hope to God it works. Because if it doesn't, I am completely lost as to what I will do. I don't know what that thing is. That's apparently a hallucination. Of some kind. Keep on dropping, Sanity. Keep on dropping. Gotta be lower than that. Now my brain is shrunk. Oh, man. This is dangerous. Gotta keep going. Keep it going. Grass tuft. Even lower. Even lower. We have to go even more insane. Oh, that thing's just crawling around. Stop it. Go away. Lower. Lower. Even crazier. Crazy enough that we can make it to and through the obelisks. Oh. Come on. All right. Apparently we're nuts enough. Aha! The obelisks are shrunk. 
Great. Alright. A fire. Now, we're gonna lose some health for this. 37. 36. We're gaining sanity. We're slowly picking things back up. Deerclops is on the other side of the obelisk. Uh, did I just hear a pig? I did. Oh. It's that pig. The one with the crank thing. fatal flaws I didn't bring enough wood Ugh. and I am certainly nuts Berry bushes. Trees! At last. That's what we should have instead of an opulent pickaxe. What am I... I lost something. I lost several somethings, apparently. Oh. It's good to know, though, that Deerclops is behind us. Oh god. More spiders. No thank you. Alright. Now. Very quickly, in order to survive, we must make a rope and survival. We must make a straw roll and we must sleep till the morning. There we go. We have some meat. All right, we're good to go. Now we're in this little outcropping area. A little f forest zone. Our sanity is coming back. Especially during the day. For whatever reason, the top hat restores sanity. I guess because it's boss. I mean, I love top hats. Unfortunately, I can't wear hats very well. They just don't... They don't look all that great on me, you know? one of those things. It's a curse. Some of us must weather it. I'm cursed to not look good in hats. 
Alright, we're getting better. We are getting much, much, much better. Music is starting to play again. Oh, this is good. This is very good. Picking flowers, there's not very many of those around. Oh. We uh we don't we don't need the extra uh, grass. Thanks though. What we do need is another way to get food. We're gonna have to make some traps pretty soon. We're just gonna have to make a ton of traps. Unfortunately, we don't have a bunch of twigs. We need two twigs per trap, six grass per trap. Flowers. Let's head back up into that grassy tree area and see if we can, uh... Oh my. That's a herd of beefalo. Bunch of twigs. Do not mind if it do. Alright. Set over here. More beefalo, but more grass. What we need are more uh, berries. Doesn't seem like there are too many berries though. By too many, I mean zero. There are no berries. There are no berries anywhere around here. Shit. Means I'm gonna have to attack a beefalo. Come on, buddy. There you go. Pissed off and everything. No, no. Keep coming.
There we go. His ass was quite red. Oh, drop this fuel on there, quick! Now, cook up some nice old steaks. Saved by the lunchroom bell. Let's go ahead and dig up this sapling. Pop it under the fire. Bam. Good to go. Oh, day 15. We went completely insane. We hunted some beefalo. We made it through the obelisks. All in all, a successful foray. Into the wilds of adventure. Adventure mode, man. World 3. This is some nonsense. This game is not trying to make it easy for me. I'll tell you that right now. This game wants me to suffer. Alright, I'm going to call it here at day 15. So I'll see you guys back on day 16. We're going to see if we can get through the rest of uh, World 3. God, I hope so. so. Until next time, guys, this is Sage. If you like that content, why don't you do me a super huge favor and click that like button. And if you like all of my content and want to see more, why don't you hit that subscribe button so you can be updated anytime I do anything new. And well, if you want to be my best friend, you can go ahead and try to share this on Facebook or Twitter or Reddit. Anywhere really. Get that stuff out there and help this channel grow. It'd really mean a lot to me.